What's up, guys? Welcome to More Than Roommates. I'm here with my roommate, Dan. Daniel. Oh, government name. <laughs> the government name. Um, what are we going to talk about today, Dan? Oh, I'm, I'm glad you asked. Yeah. Everyone, you killed that intro, Graham. <laughs> I'm so... That was good. I know, and I'm still not feeling well. I've been, like, struggling all week with just, like, a cold cold from hell yeah I, guess. Been... I don't know i've just been sneezing freaking coughing uh, like using sinex like probably for way more than you're supposed to yeah just so i can breathe but yeah and he's... day quill I, I don't know man he, um, he has tested it's not COVID, yeah so... tested for covid it was negative yeah i didn't go into work into the office this week just to be safe but... yeah i'm pretty sure it's allergies or <sighs> the wind has been blowing like 900 miles an hour or two we're getting just... all those helicopter propellers all over the yeah the yard and everything so did, did we ever talk about allergy testing in mm, any of our no. so back when i was like seven or eight or so i you know i was i've always had allergies like i was that nerdy kid who was like you know all red and you know nasal inflammation and all that and um back in the day like to test to see what you were truly allergic to they had to poke you with like a ton of different needles, like to test different samples. So I remember um, just going to my allergist, you know, when I was young, and they poked my back and shoulders, and I think all the way like down my arms and stuff. Like I was allergic to everything Jeez. too, except for Timothy grass, okay, which is some weird tall grass that you're probably not gonna hang out in you know yeah. but i did allergy shots helped me for long long time and so explain i think i'm just kind of i don't know they say you grow out of it but maybe i grew out of my immunity <laughs> can you explain what allergy shots are for everyone yeah so they just kind of um every friday i had to like go get a shot in my arm and it kind of sucked like it was kind of painful like a big needle yeah and so they just slowly so they figure out what you're allergic to which i kind of explained already which was everything which was basically everything and then they just kind of uh, as far as i understand it they just introduce it to your immune system like slowly, over time yeah. you know what i mean and i think they build up you know a certain amount and uh it's supposed to help make you immune but so you had just one shot and it was just like a cocktail of everything that you were allergic i think to? so from what i remember yeah it was just every i think it was every friday actually wow. my mom had to take me That's and, a lot yeah it was like a year or two did, also did you have insane a, would you have a reaction every time you got the shot like would it be like inflamed? it would welt up mm. yeah i feel like it would welt up quite a bit but <sighs> So yeah. that's crazy. I only <laughs> sorry Excuse have me. been aller- yeah he, you know, it's okay. Yeah. Um, I am only allergic to a few things, but one of those things is I do have a slight sun allergy. Ooh, it was yeah. really bad when I was a kid. Um, but I, I've grown, but I will still um get sun splotches and get sun sick really easily like last summer i was at an event where i was outside in the direct sun for all day and my lymph nodes were just like mm. huge in my neck i felt awful so sun allergy and then tide oh tide laundry detergent i l- thought i had the chicken yeah. pox oh man i was just covered in little bumps and i was like oh my god it was after a fresh batch of clean clothes mm-hmm. was this like as you were a kid I was or like, were I think you in middle on your school own? or high school so yeah so my parents mom got a- had to switch up mm-hmm. from the mf and tide yeah <laughs> so we went with generic brand which you know yeah cheaper anyway but yeah it was just too strong yeah. i guess for my skin i think we've used tide now and i'm but fine. we always get like the free and clear type. yeah well did we with that new powder guys we switched to laundry powder yes yeah. it feels like 1980 something but i kind of like it yeah honestly so you know i we're big into trying to be more eco-friendly more sustainable and i saw that using like um those dissolvable like tide pods I've seen some things. I don't know how true it is, so please don't take my word for it. But supposedly they're not super great for the environment. Like 
the little um, dissolvable stuff can leave trace amounts. I mean, I, you're putting chemicals in water, so I don't know how any detergent is better. But supposedly, well, also, it's like 60% water. Like most of the, the pod is water, so it's really watered down. So if you use detergent or like detergent crystals, it's more concentrate, so you don't have to use as much, and you're just like getting more cleaning power. And I was actually on the hunt. You can get um, laundry. Oh, what is it? What is the it? laundry sheets? Laundry tried? sheets. Yeah. So it's like a dryer sheet, but it's like a crystal detergent. Yeah, yeah. You just throw a sheet in the wash, and then it dissolves. And so that was fun. We found that was, at Menards. I, yeah, I would say it was a learning. Yeah, there was a learning curve to it because you, sure. if it was but a heavy think, load, you had to use more than one sheet, and it kind of. T- Told you roughly like how many to use, mm-hmm. but it's still kind of like new territory. You yeah. know what I mean? Like liquid, you kind of know at this point because you've been using it for so long, and powder is not totally different, I right. guess. But these were because you still have a scoop. You know what I mean? And like they've got it marked. Like okay, here's like one to five. You know loads. Yeah. So I don't know if the laundry sheets were very cost effective. I found it at Menards. And it had 32 sheets, so it was 32 loads of laundry, and it was $8, so probably not the yeah. best. But then, of course, we found the powder in bulk. So I'm sure if you could get a, um, a bulk order of the laundry sheets, it would be more cost effective. But um, I was looking out the window. I saw someone walk I by. I know. That's why I started petting <laughs> the dog to make sure she I don't know. Yeah, bark. yeah. I don't um, know if you guys can see her little butt, but. Yeah, she's on the she, couch with she us. She wouldn't sit between us. I, I wanted her to cuddle on me. I know. <laughs> dogs with free will. What are yeah, you going to do? Right. Try not to force her to cuddle. <laughs> but speaking of childhood and allergies and stuff i thought we would talk about today um what we were like in high school mm-hmm. and like how we've grown as people yeah. and also if we would have if you think we would have like hung out together in high school Ooh. so we do have a age gap between us there's a six-year age gap so it makes it plus the fact that we were living yeah. in different states we never crossed <laughs> yeah. paths but do you think we would have... So when you were in high school, so if you were 14, I would have been... What? Math that? Eight? If I was 14? Yeah. I would have been eight. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So yeah, we did not cross paths. So what were you like in high school? We'll throw in some of your MySpace emo pictures, but like kind of give us the vibe. What was high school Graham? God. I drink. Yeah. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Oh, no, I lost my pillow. Oh, no. <clears throat> Hold on. I need a drink, too. <laughs> drink break. Everyone take a sip. Mm. So good. <laughs> that was fire. Are you going to hang on to that or do I need yeah, to? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I might put it on the ground. Okay, sounds good. Uh, high school grand. I don't know. It's kind of all over the place. I had a lot of, um, I would say, like, confidence issues mm. and insecurities. Had a lot of friends, you know. I kind of ran around with a lot of different groups. Yeah. Um, But overall, I would say I was, like, kind of, like, I don't know, not, like, a lone wolf. You just didn't have a Just kind of, like, yeah. I didn't really, like, I had, like, some core friends, but I kind of, like, hop around to different groups, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. For sure. Like, I had best friends and stuff, too, but I don't know. Yeah, I never... I'm trying to like put this into words I guess like I never felt like I was really forced to have to do things like my parents weren't like oh hey you know you gotta go do xyz number of like after school activities you know so like I I did track and cross country for a little while you know what I mean but I think I ultimately like dipped out of that too Mm -hmm. like I just, I don't know, I was really, like, I don't want to get, like, too personal, but I think I'm just going to lay it all out there. Okay. I was bulimic by, like, age, like, 13 or 14. Wow. It was pretty rough. Like, middle school, I was, like, kind of heavy in, like, sixth grade, you know? And honestly, it was, like, that awkward phase and age where most people have an awkward time. I just took it really personally, you know? And... Um, I think like my like 
first day of freshman like orientation like before um like the official you know like first day of school i think i weighed like 89 pounds and i remember like all my classmates like i remember walking by and i remember people being like oh my wow he's so skinny or whatever you know and i was like not super tall yet i was definitely taller than a lot of people but so it probably amplified Mm -hmm. you know so i dealt with like a lot of like weight issues and probably mental issues you know like uh, about myself just not i don't know i wasn't all that into myself back then for sure you know (laughs) i'm sorry to hear that yeah no it's okay i'm just part of the journey yeah i mean but Mm -hmm. yeah i'd say um I I definitely found my groove, you know, like in to the next like, you know, sophomore, junior, senior year or whatever. It was better for sure, but high school is just not my prime and yeah. I am fine with not peaking in high school. Yeah. But so would we have hung out? So your vibe I don't know. your vibe so, I'm I'm kind of grasping like kind of like the headphone you'd, you'd be listening to the music no, okay no they didn't i don't know if they let us do that okay like, i don't know i just would bounce around like in the mornings either like i would either be really quiet or like i would be just you know kind of chilling with friends and talking i think it kind of depended on the day yeah honestly like how i felt and i was definitely more the observant type okay like I kind of like, you know what I mean? Would just see and feel out the vibe. Yeah, you know what I mean. Every day I'd go in, I'd see like what, what are people talking about? You know, like yeah. I, and I'm sure I sat there and worried like, oh, were they talking about me? You know, yeah. like um, my freshman year. So I've got kind of like a dual. So I have all this like mental stuff going on, mm-hmm. right? But when I was a freshman, and I had like. We'll have to put some old pictures oh, up yeah. or something. But I had like this, like I was trying to grow my hair out, you know, like the Ashton Kutcher era, oh, yeah. and like I, I have this unfortunate. Oh, oh yeah, I just have like standard like straight hair, you know. So it was like, but it kind of like curls like on my neck, like they're like calyx, it kind of mm-hmm. like come down, you know. And so it really didn't look all that great, I don't think. But, yeah. I mean, I feel like a lot of kids do that kind of, like, longer hair thing. Um, yeah, like- but anyway, I remember um, there were a bunch of, like, junior and senior girls that were like, oh, my God, he is so cute. Oh, yeah. And, like, I had, like, I made a lot of friends, you know, and I was like, God, are they, like, are they being mean? But then I realized they weren't. Like, they thought I was cute, you mm-hmm. know what I mean, or whatever, too. But, um it was just like I felt like there was attention, you know, kind of put on me in that way too. Yeah. And um, I felt like some of the older, you know, guys and like those classes, it probably made me a target. You know yeah. what I mean? And I did some embarrassing crap in school too. I feel like, but yeah, I, I mean, don't we know. all do. I'm sure we all did, but yeah. I don't know. You were the so, prom king, weren't yeah. you? I'll let you tell all your yeah. stories too, but I'm just trying to think like would we have hung out? I think from like a nerd level probably. Yeah. We could well, have, I will know. say so okay, so I will say middle school me was like the worst years. Like I felt like I didn't have a friend group. I didn't really hang out with anyone after school. I wasn't a part of anything. High school, I did really come into my own. I I was a part of like every club, every sport. I wanted to do it all. Um, I would say if you had to classify me, I was probably known as like the band geek. I played the saxophone (laughs) all through school. Um, I was the drum major. Um, But then, yeah, senior year is when I really came into my own. Like I felt like that was when I became like confident and not so quiet. Like I used to just like, you know, if, a teacher passed me in the hall I wouldn't like wave or anything because I felt like they wouldn't know who I was but then I realized you know senior you're like yeah they remember me like I had them a year ago um so yeah but I was I did the morning news I did the yearbook I did newspaper I did I was in art classes I did band I did soccer and tennis so I think that just like 
I, I, I don't think I was popular, but I think I was part of everything that like people knew who I was and I just always tried to be nice. So, but yes, I, it was very shocking, but yes, I, I was prom king, which just blew me out of the water. Like I wasn't like, it was my best friend and I wanted to just run just for the fun of it. And you had to get nominated and he didn't fill out his form mm. and I did. And I'm like, Oh, no. oh you punk. Like yeah. now I have to go. Got in. I yeah. know. I was like, so now I have to stand up your bones. Sorry guys. My nose is itching. Yeah. Ugh. But I was like, Oh no, now I have to stand up here by myself. Like that wasn't the plan. Um, Rip. And so, yeah, it was, I don't know. It was, and this is also where I like I wasn't super popular. I felt like, but wait, hold on one sh- check. Do I have whipped cream on my face? No, you're good. Anywhere? Okay, no, you're good. <laughs> Sorry. Um, way to get that coffee this morning. Yeah. <laughs> Wake up. I have some caffeine. I wasn't like super popular, but like I still won. But like on prom night, I um, you know, they usually do a dance between the prom king and the prom queen, mm-hmm. and because we didn't really know each other, like that didn't even happen. They just crowned really? us, and then we just kind of walked around. Oh, it was man, weird. Yeah. Like I don't know. Like now, I feel yeah. like I would have anyone who won, I would have just danced a little dance. You know, like it's fine. But yeah, I was I was awkward. But so you say you came into yourself within high school would you say like you feel like you had different phases like through each grade of high school or do you feel like you were pretty much the same person like freshman through senior year i would say i was the same person of freshman through junior year like mm. i was quiet i wouldn't talk really? to you unless you talk to me oh, yeah. yeah okay um i bet people thought i was stuck up but i was just so insecure yeah um I think people thought that about me too. Yeah, I know. Well, I was in the closet. Um, I was a minority in my school. So I just, um, you know, when it came to music or pop culture, I wasn't sure what I should like. Mm -hmm. So I was always afraid to like, if they were like, oh, what music do you listen to? Well, I didn't want to say like, I like all these pop music and all these girl bands because I didn't want to be outed. So I like, I just was very quiet. I overthought everything. And so I just felt like, I don't know. But then senior year, I was an upperclassman. I don't know. I just was like, screw it. I'm just going to be myself more than I had been. Um, Yeah, it was it was fun. I felt like I was ruling the school. I don't know. Yeah. So now do we think we would have hung out? Do you think? No, I'm trying to think like I maybe it would depend on the year. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like I was pretty much a different person almost like every year of high school. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like freshman year, I would say I was a little more insecure and reserved. And keep in mind, I went to Catholic school, too. So like I started like my kindergarten through eighth grade. I think we had like. I don't know, between maybe like 35 kids. And I think I graduated with maybe like 20 something. And then all the local Catholic schools would combine. So by the time you get to high school, you know, the freshman year, it was like, oh, suddenly it's like not just like my, you know, peers from grade school I'm comfortable with. It's like, all these other kids who I don't really know because I, you know, besides like track, I didn't really do a lot of, you know, not that coordinated. You know what I mean? It was probably I just needed glasses, you know, for the most part. Yeah. But, yeah. I, well, I was I played soccer and tennis. I wasn't good. It was yeah. so. Imp- OK. Yeah. Since, OK. Since I'm going to say I was prom king, king I got to like throw out some embarrassing stuff so oh yeah we gotta that, <sighs> so what is your most embarrassing high school memory i have one this this soccer one is not my most embarrassing but it was just like such a low point so i'm not athletic never was but Me i like playing soccer and i had some friends that were trying out freshman year and they were like you should join and i'm like okay i want to like in middle school i didn't have any friends so i'm like i, I want to put myself out there and so I did soccer. I had fun. I really made a close knit group. And then I played on JV freshman and sophomore year. And then junior year, it's like, okay, I'm probably going to get on varsity. Mm-hmm. And they, we did tryouts. They had us line up 
And they're like, if we call your name, you're on varsity. They call everyone's name except mine. It was just like, why didn't you just pull me aside and say like, Dan, mm mm-mm. Now I know That's what rude. I know. It, I like was choking back tears because one by one, all my friends were getting called. And keep in mind, I didn't think I was good, but the whole reason I was doing it was to hang out with my friends. Mm-hmm. And so they call everyone, and I'm just standing there, and all my friends are looking back, like, yeah, you know, like, what? oh my god. And so he pulled me aside. Keep in mind, he was my middle school English teacher. He knew me very well. We were very. And was this, wait, I got to ask a quick question. Was this before or after the meniscus injury? It was right before. Right before. Okay. I had pains. I didn't okay. know what it was. Gotcha. But um, I, so he came and talked to me. He wanted me to be the captain of JV, which oh. now in my adult brain i understand he wanted me to to be like a leader right yes. yeah i couldn't he un- saw the quality in mm-hmm. you yeah i couldn't understand that when i was in high school i was i i like held it together for the rest of practice i practiced with the jv people i scored some goals and i was like i walked right to the band room where my band teacher was i laid on the ground and i started sobbing it was just so embarrassing to be called out all of my friends are practicing and i'm the one over here i never showed back up i didn't tell them i quit i just didn't show up again i i wish i would have handled it differently but i was just so embarrassed i was so put off i wanted to tell them like look i don't care if i'm the well and the other thing that hurt my feelings was there were some people that had never played on the team before that made it to varsity Mm -hmm. and i was like so you were like what i put in all these years like i don't care if i sit on the bench i just want to be you know with my friends i wish i would have just told him that but he you know he wanted me to get all the play time as a jv so yeah i that was embarrassing um and then we'll yeah so we'll go into the meniscus thing Mm -hmm. so i it was the summer of junior year going into senior year i had just gotten my first job literally worked there two weeks i was like i worked at a local ice cream well frozen custard um and I was getting ready for work. I was putting on my tennis shoes and I was sitting on the ground and I stood up and my knee just went. <laughs> and that I, makes me like shiver. Like, it was ugh. like crunching and <sighs> I was at my parents' house, my house, and um, I just went down and I just laid there trying to see what was happening and <laughs> I had some, my brothers were, over, my brothers lived there or they had some friends over and I was like, don't tell mom because she's going to want to like touch it or like move it around to see what was wrong. And I just was frozen in pain. So finally my mom comes down there. I'm like choking back tears. It's not bruised. It's not swollen. You can't tell anything's wrong, but I'm like, don't touch me. Don't touch me. You know? So I'm in my basement and they have to get me out of the house. So they end up calling an ambulance, which is scary. Um, and my mom was like, my son is six, four, send someone who can get him out of the basement. So little five, five Becky comes down there and they get me into like, essentially just like a chair that, you know, I'm like sitting like the, like, you know, just like you're in a chair with your back up and they're trying to like carry you. So she grabs like the back of the chair and she's like pulling me backwards and she's just going to yank me backwards up each step and every step she's no one was carrying like your mm -mm. legs or anything no i was just like strapped in and it was clunk 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 all the way up and she was like if you start to fall do not grab the walls and every step do not grab the wall if you start to fall and i'm like listen lady if i start to fall i'm grabbing the wall yeah i'm not going to prevent you from getting me up but i'm like what is going on here so he's just so let me get this straight you just want me to fall down the stairs. Right. Like, I'm like, with what, no... what? You think I'm just going to bust my Did face? Did you think you were going to break your arm? I think too? she thought I was going to like grab the wall and prevent her from yanking me up. I'm like, yeah. no, I'm not going to do that. But if I start to fall forward, I'm grabbing the wall. I'm stopping myself. Yeah. I'm not just going to like face plant. Yeah. They get me in the ambulance. They take me all. They do all these x rays and they're like, you're fine. Nothing's broken. You're good. You can walk out of here. But you're in pain, right? I'm in horrible pain. Yeah. And I'm like, I can't. They weren't going to give me crutches. And I was like, what is going on? Like, Did they think you were faking it or what? I think so. Like, I don't know. I think they thought I was exaggerating it. Ugh. 
they didn't bring me crutches. And I look at my mom and I'm like, I'm not faking it. And um, so they wheelchair me out. We go to Walgreens and I rent a pair of crutches. I've used crutches before, so I knew how to get crutches. Um, and like the like we went through a couple days and I really think people thought I was faking it. It wasn't bruised. You wouldn't see anything wrong. I remember my dad, I would always hold it at a straight 90 degrees. I wouldn't let it like, like, and my dad Mm. took a picture of me. He's like, you look so goofy, like sticking your legs straight out. And (laughs) dude, what do you want me to do? I was like, that's the only thing that feels comfortable. Whenever I straightened it slightly, Uh, um, it just hurt. And so I had this thing where I would, every night I stacked four pillows up and slowly I would release one pillow at a time. And that was the only way I could get my leg straight. So finally they schedule an MRI. We get the MRI. Keep in mind, I'm going through physical therapy. They're telling me I need to be doing all these exercises. Like I was practicing to walk and I was working through the pain. I was in so much pain and keep in mind, I've only worked at work for a week and then I'm like calling out and they're like, what's going on? Do you have a doctor's note? And I'm like, no, I, so I'm like, man, I'm going to lose my job. Your new job. Right? Wayne Brandon, yeah. my first job. Didn't this happen on your first day? It was Did like my first, that? I said it was like my second oh, yeah, week. Yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah. Keep in mind when I'm getting in the ambulance, I'm trying to call my work and I'm like, hey, I'm not coming. I'm on an AMR. And, and they're like, well, you got to find someone. And I'm like, dude, I'm on an AMR. I'm like, what I do you don't want me? know I don't... anyone uh, yeah. here. I'm like, send me the, 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 the phone list. And so I'm calling they, people. They should have done that for you. I'm, I'm sorry. So, I'm, again, I'm, I'm sorry. Like a. Uh, yeah. Now, but of course 16 year old me i'm like okay this is what i got it so i'm in the ambulance trying to call people no one will take my shift because it's so last minute yeah finally i just said screw it you know i'm not coming fire me yeah yeah i finally got an mri keep in mind the mri was more painful than actually what happened the initial injury because if you know if you're in an mri you have to lay flat and keep in mind i had my pillow trick to get my legs straight and it took hours to get to that and so they're like you have to lay lay your legs straight and i look at my mom and i just start sobbing and i'm like this is gonna hurt so bad so i instantly just had to straighten it you know like just as fast as i could (sighs) tears are streaming down my face my mom knew i was in pain and you have to hold still for hours or an hour or so and the mri came back and they're like yep you have a u-shaped tear in your meniscus it's probably been like that for years, but what happened was when I stood up, there was like a flap of my meniscus and it Ugh. jammed into my knee socket. Ew. And so whenever I would straighten it, it yeah. was pinching it. Oh. That's why it hurt so bad. It yeah. felt fine on a 90 degree because yeah. that was when it was loose. And then when I straightened it, it was squeezing the muscle or the tendon, whatever mm-hmm. it is. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I ended up having surgery and um, I was able to walk three days later. Like it, I was back at work. I remember I had a surgery on a Friday. I was back at work on a Monday. My knee was swollen as could be, Mm -hmm. but at that point it had been four weeks and I felt so much better after like trying to exercise. They were like, yeah, all those, um, uh, stretches we were having you do. Yeah. It was probably damaging it more. I was so mad. I instantly went to the hoops you have to go through. Mm -hmm. It's like, Oh, first you have to x-ray. Then you have to go through physical therapy. Then we'll give you an MRI. Yes. And it's like, why don't you just like see what's wrong with it before you potentially cause more damage? Yeah. It makes no sense. And I was a kid, so I didn't know how to advocate. This yeah. was my first big injury and it felt goofy. I just stood up. Like I wasn't like doing anything crazy. Um, but I did lose feeling in my knee forever. Like I don't, I mean, it's such an odd place. Yeah. It's not like, oh, woe is me, but I don't have any feeling in my knee it feels like if you put saran wrap over my like i can feel pressure like but the nerves are gone like i can't tell like if something is sharp that's touching me or or if it's something that's hot yeah yeah i can just feel the pressure on the inside of my leg so interesting i don't even know how we got on but yeah so that was we were talking about embarrassing yes so so that happened so senior year i am trying to like get back to normal like it's still i have like i have knee pain now forever um and so that senior year it was hard and i remember i was in band class and i was the drum major so you know i was the conductor for stuff 
and I was taking blow off classes. So I took beginner band and I tried to learn a new instrument. And there was one day that the band director was like, Hey Dan, do you mind like conducting for this song? I'm like, I got you. And so it's this giant, it was like only like a couple inches off the ground. It was a podium and it was really wide. So I thought I could put a chair on the podium so I could be elevated, oh. but I could still be sitting. Oh, yeah. Sit. Oh, no. <laughs> I go back to sit on the chair and the oh. two back legs fall off the oh, podium. No. So I'm like legs in the air on oh. my back <laughs> in front of everyone. I I like, you know, instantly get red. Everyone we, laughs. We would have been friends. After that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I could laugh it off. Luckily, I was yeah. a senior and I could. But I, oh, my gosh, I was like, send me home right now yeah what about you what were some embarrassing oh i've got a handful of embarrassing things actually um i think the uh the first embarrassing story like i don't know if this is my most embarrassing one but it was pretty traumatizing i was a freshman again i was like all of like 90 pounds and um on i think it was on wednesdays we had at lunchtime it was called a truck stop special and it was like country fried steak with like white pepper gravy and like mashed potatoes and rolls and everyone was just obsessed with this meal and um what a lot of us would do we would get doubles and then secretly i was like probably like not eating the rest of the day or anything after that but um it was so heavy the lunch tray like having that many potatoes and like gravy and like all that and i remember i had gotten out of the so the cafeteria was kind of interesting you would walk in it's all seating on two sides or like little like the cafe was kind of in like a kind of like a triangle i guess you'd go in one door there's a lunch line and you come out the other you pay and come mm -hmm. out or whatever and they had like condiments kind of like in the middle of the room I think I went to grab like pepper or something and like I was trying to hold on like do you remember the lunch trays yeah. where there's like the little pocket where your yeah, silver would go those, yeah I think I like let go of the main part and I was just like trying to grasp it like between that and I dropped my entire oh, no. freaking lunch like in front of the senior table oh no and like some of the girls were like the ones that thought I was cute were like oh you know and like they came and helped me Aww. but like People were laughing, and I was like, oh, my God, I hate my life. I like, know. Yeah. Oh, gosh. I, um, oh, yeah. You go. So, no, go ahead. I, I did. I dropped my – I it was in middle school. I was failing math. I suck at math. And my teacher was making me come during my lunch for tutoring, which was awesome of her to offer that. But embarrassing nonetheless. So, I'm going up there with my pizza, and I trip up the stairs, and my tray just, like, all the food I have to, like, pick up off the oh, ground no. while I'm going to tutoring for lunch. I'm like, ugh. Yeah. But you wasted. Go. No one saw, but it was yeah. demoralizing nonetheless. So, do you want to know how I learned about malware? <laughs> okay. No. So, this was freshman year. Also, like, computing 101, like... No joke, like, we had to, like, set up an email, and, like, it was, like, very basic stuff. It's kind of cool, actually, but um, I clicked a link in one of my emails in the middle of class. Like, I was just, you know what I mean? Like, I think I was trying to get to, like, um, Zanga or, like, my no, it was before MySpace. It was Zanga, for sure. We all, st like, back in, like, 04... We would all blog on this website like it was basically like an open diary kind of format and like your friends could I don't know if it was like you follow each other or your friends. It was really before, you know, all the big social media took over. But we were I was trying to get to that, I think, or I was on my email or something not paying attention. And I clicked on this link mm -hmm. and and started playing in class it was like and um one of my classmates Haley I was said so I think we sat in alphabetical order our last names both were like G A so we were sitting next to each other and she looked over and she started giggling she's like oh Graham has a secret <laughs> it, it was just like oh I no. think it was like it, it was not gay porn Anyway, yeah but it was like still it was still in like school. in school yeah and like keep in mind i had not even watched porn at that point i oh, don't no. think 
You watched it was porn. embarrassing. No, <laughs> no. What are you talking about? I'm Catholic. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. So that happened. Uh, what else? I don't know. I definitely um each year felt different for me. It felt like it moved like at a hundred miles per hour. You know, like freshman year, I would say like shy would be a big like summarizing feature of me like through most of high school but um i don't know i started i was very like straight edge you know for like the longest time i was like i'm never gonna drink or like do anything you know and then like i lost my grandma my grandma carlson i think i've brought her up before but she was like a monumental figure in my life like she kind of like taught me like through preschool and I spent summers with her like I have a lot of love for her still and hard to believe I haven't seen her you know in half my life but she'll always have you know a big place in my heart yeah and you know I lost her and um I lost like who I thought was the love of my life like mm-hmm. as you know I hear high a sophomore so all this like happened like my sophomore year and I just like mentally couldn't handle it you yeah. know what I mean and um me and one of my homies Robin her, she was one of my best friends too she was like the 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 Lindsay Lohan to my Paris <laughs> I think we've talked about that a little bit we're gonna have to have her on yeah yeah that would be really fun but um We started hanging out a lot, you know, and we partied and she kind of got me into the like popular crowd more, Mm -hmm. I guess. So like I started partying, you know, and like my personality kind of changed. And, you know, I even remember before my dad passed away, like back in like, I think I was like a junior or senior, maybe it was even in college. Like we had a pretty big discussion, but he was like, yeah, I remember like when like your personality just started changing you know what i mean Mm. like i think he he was alluding to like saying like i feel like i know you're like coming of age and i know Mm -hmm. you're like partying now and it was just kind of a an interesting time for sure yeah i had yeah i had a lot of friends from like different schools too and uh my sandwich artist job (laughs) the queue i've talked about you know i really definitely like came out of my shell with that job you know what i mean like there ain't nothing like throwing someone into like the service industry like you're gonna mature come out of your shell you know what i mean like there you're gonna have to have interactions with strangers and odd things you know for sure so i think yeah but to answer the question do you think we would have i think we would have been classmates like friends in the classroom i don't know if we would have hung out after school I mean, just because we were both so shy. Yeah, but I feel like we would have connected on like the video game stuff. Mm -hmm. Like me and so like me and, you know, my brother Devin, him and I played a lot of Halo. I played a lot of, you know, my GTA, like Vice City, San Andreas. But we played, you know, everything. I think we probably like if we would have known like we were like gamers you know but that's what i'm saying and you're you're more of a gamer than i am but but in high school i completely dropped that aspect of my personality mm. i i kind of did too honestly but my, my or bro- i didn't tell anyone but. right exactly like i thought it was uncool so like I so did, did i yeah but my brothers were still playing pokemon and stuff and i was like no that's lame i'm too cool for that so i i didn't game a lot so I don't know. I don't know if we would have connected on yeah. that. That was this back being to being a gamer. I've only been, you know, like even when I was working in news, like I, I stopped playing video games and stuff. So mm-hmm. this has been more of a recent return to, but I don't know. So I think we would have. Did you do any, did you do FBLA? Future Business Mm-mm. Leaders I did, of America? I did National okay. Honor Society and Key Club. Okay. Which, but no, I didn't. I don't know if we even had, an, I think we did have an FBLA. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't do that, but yeah. I, it's kind of funny. Um, I feel like I probably would have been maybe friends with your brother, like Taylor. In yeah, high school. I like I was very were. like, as soon as the breakup and all that, I was, you know, and I had like peak, you know, my age group, peak, you know, post core emo, like that was all popping off, you know, as yeah. I was like a freshman 
sophomore like that was like my music my scene like yeah i wanted that to be even though like uh, my school made me cut my hair and stuff but that was kind of like how i felt you know what i mean yeah although i think my whole like personality for a while is hey you know i i wear abercrombie and fitch like Mm. i'm awesome you know yeah (laughs) yeah my brother and i i think we're called irish twins but we're only a year apart oh yeah i guess we should like yeah yeah (laughs) so that was also a facet of high school was that we we had a lot of classes together we had band together every year so and we got along great so but it was also like trying to ident like we weren't twins but we definitely people thought we were twins so like we tried to like differentiate ourselves so i think that was also part of it my senior year when he graduated then it was like i was by myself i could really identify by myself so that was also a facet of me Mm -hmm. coming into my own but yeah i think we would have been classmate friends i don't know if we would have hung out we probably would have yeah it would have depended on the situation i think like i was very you know like still not willing to like I was like vehement, vehemently against the kind of like queer part of myself. Oh, for I sure. guess like I very much leaned into my attraction for women mm-hmm. for a long time. You know what I mean? Just because I was too afraid to explore. And I feel like if we met and if it would have like even like hinted at going down that road, I probably would have chickened out. Same. You know what I mean? Yeah, I but, didn't like. I mean, I'm sure people were guessing in high school or like came to their own conclusions, but I was very much like not opening this door, but yeah, um, I was also like weirdly obsessed with my ex for a long time too. So I may not even, you know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe it wouldn't have even come to that, but, um, so the other thing I wanted to talk about was, um, class reunions. So I think that was a big thing to you, for you. You had a big glow up and then you went to your 10 year class reunion. How was that? It was fun. Yeah. It was like cool to kind of, you know, kind of reset or recalibrate with just like where I'm at in life now. And like, I'm like not the same person I was back then. I'm not the same person I was five years ago Mm -hmm. at this point, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, it was fun to just kind of talk to people and, yeah, like, people were like, wow, like, you look great, you know what I mean? And I remember, like, one of my classmates was like, oh, show us your abs. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> were they drunk? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it was pretty funny. But, yeah, yeah. dude, I, I'm almost at my 15 year. Yeah. is Because your tenure is coming up yeah, now, right? Yeah, my tenure. So we're talking about my tenure is what Dan Yeah, is my tenure up, but... is next year. Wow. And I can't decide if I want to go or not. If it were in town, it would be a no question. I would yeah. love to see the people, but I do live a different state away. So yeah. is it worth the whole trip to come in to hang out with people that I don't see on it? the daily basis or like we'll probably never see again and i am so different it would be very cool to show off you and show Mm -hmm. off what i've accomplished but it's also like yeah i just don't know you know like it's in the past for a reason and i yeah but there i had a blast at mine but like it's a little different now too like especially like thinking am i gonna like take my partner to a catholic Mm -hmm. high school reunion like yeah i'd like to see my friends and stuff and people you know classmates and i feel like i talked to you know a handful of people you know still and like i think they're all really cool with it for the most part but like with like the administration think oh that's like you know what i mean i don't know i just it's kind of like because my 15 years coming up this september is crazy i like i felt like it was just like a year or two ago that yeah. it was my tenure but again blame that on covid yeah i'm gonna bring this up every episode how i lost three years yeah. of my life <laughs> yeah and that's i definitely feel like i have my support from my friends but there are people that i'm on facebook with that I, they post some stuff and i'm like i know y'all realize you're friends with me on facebook i see this stuff like yeah don't be rude and so it's just like do i want to put myself through that i know and it's just why do people freaking care i know like why not just let people be happy and live their lives like we're all human there's like uh, and then it's also like maybe it would be a point maybe it would be a point to show up and be like 
hey y'all i'm here yeah and i'm queer you know yeah. you know like but realize what you're doing so yeah. i don't know it would be fun there are some people i would love to see again um yeah everyone i guess let we'll, me know in the comments what do yeah. you think? Do you want, yeah did you go did you have fun yeah should we go to my 15 year i would love to Catholic? go to yours oh really your arm candy oh yeah, yeah. but I don't so know. i've got how many months to drop like a little bit of body oh fat my gosh. Uh, <laughs> we got, we got, what five months four months i'm sitting i think at like 188 right now i think i was like I was like super ripped and lean. I think I was like 160 or so. Like yeah. I had lost like 15 pounds, but I had put on quite a bit of muscle yeah. like for my last one. He now I'm just like kind of like a little thick. <laughs> it's thick. Oh, we are we a little comfy over yeah, here. Yeah, we love but... <laughs> it. But yeah, you were in that like only eating rice and chicken, like weighing everything. Out. No, I I did a uh, carb cycling diet, so it was like a low carb day. Another low carb day, a medium carb day, and then a high carb day, and then it would drop again. You would cycle through. Are we still good? Okay. Yeah, it was. Whew, those are the low carb days, man. I was hangry. Oh, I bet. Like just freaking. I, I want to do that diet again, though. I, I feel do. like I saw so many results in mm -hmm. like a month. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Of just clean eating, no sugar no junk food yeah. like i it was so much easier than though too because i had less responsibility you know i was like a little bit younger in my career so i was still working hard but it was just you know a different role yeah. and like i had more time to come home and dirty dishes by cooking my eighth meal of the day you know what i mean i think i truly and I know, like, we have, you know, we've talked a little bit about our system, you know, like, who kind of does what, you know, around the house. And I think I, like, truly burned myself out from cooking in that short, like, three, four, five-month time frame mm -hmm. while I was on that. Like, it was literally, like, hell. I, and I, like, I like cooking, but it was, like, too much. it became such a chore. Like, it was, like, I had to cook because I was running out of food. You yeah. know, I weighed everything out. I tried to, like, do double batches, but it didn't last as long as you would think it would. Yeah. And it was just nothing but, like, this endless loop of, okay, I've, like, worked a full day. Now I got to come home, and I got to cook my meal, and then I got to go to the gym, and then, you know, it's I get home, fun. and I have to clean 20 dishes. And yeah. it's just, like... It's exhausting, I, I, man. Like being human is just exhausting. Like I'm looking at the yard right now. Like it's been a week, you know. I got to mow. Yeah, I know. We um, <sighs> I keep so seeing those do. like a day in the life of a 28 year old corporate employee. And yeah, it's home, and it's like gosh, I kind of like it though. It is an aesthetic. Like, I love it. I want to yeah. film some of those here, but it yeah. It's, it's just like, like what else would I be doing? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like. Sure, would it be awesome to have like millions of dollars and just be able to travel and do everything on a whim? Like, yeah, it would, but I feel like that'd be kind of exhausting after a while, too. Yeah, you know what I mean? Sure. And I feel like I have to have something to kind of keep me, you know, mentally going most days. You know, I obviously we all need those days to like rest and recharge, which hopefully will be today. We've both had. A long very week. long couple of weeks yeah we had a busy weekend last week it's been a busy week for both of us at work yeah yeah so i don't know but i feel like overall i would need some kind of mental simulation like i would be bored just being at home and like i know us like i we love to travel explore but could could you explore for like months on end no like, where, would I'm you ever even our four-day weekend trips and like i'm ready really? to go home yeah a lot of it with you know a little poochie pal too it makes it a little more difficult to just you know get, get up and go and get away and stuff um yeah but we like also... we couldn't just pack up and go to europe you know like ah yeah. oh, that summer school trip in finland and that yeah, in really russia cool. and all that oh. we should talk about your study abroad trip have we not talked about study abroad no we'll save that for another episode okay yeah we're at like Almost an hour or so. Are we really? Yeah, I flew oh, wow. by. Yeah. So, um, why trying to think of like any other high school memories. We like, could do high I, school memories as a whole nother another episode. Another time. Yeah, yeah, but you opened it up. Why don't you close us out? 
Ooh, you want me to? Now you're putting the yeah, you're pressure being the, you're on. Yeah, be the co-host. He, he's like trying to put me in like this anchor spot or something. Put the like host I know and co-host. What I'm doing? Just, the the host and co-host. Oh, so I'm the co-host. We are co-host. Or are you the co-host? We're co-host. I know. I'm That's just kidding. <laughs> Partners in crime. Yeah, we are. Okay. All right. Well, I think that wraps it up. I think i've probably said way too many embarrassing things yeah. and i guess you'll all know some stuff about me that you probably didn't know before same with him if you see him tap me wishes on wishes meniscus well tap him in his like dead region in the knee yeah and, he'll uh, be massaging my leg and then i'll be like <laughs> you know i can't feel that right sometimes it feels good but yeah you know, like, you're like uh this is my dead knee yeah right, right. <laughs> um, all right guys well um thanks for listening to episode 11 wow right yeah. episode 11 we we broke 10 so we're in double digits now <laughs> yeah. yeah don't forget to like subscribe embarrass that algorithm on youtube yeah. spotify try to get us you know launched up there if you want to hear some more great queer ish content yeah. a day in the life tune in there yeah, awesome. all right well thank you guys Thanks for watching see you on episode 12 yeah